Okay, we'll hear a short, short report from our assistant coordinator, Ms. Esther uh, Larin Hetty. And we can do that uh, price uh, certificate distribution at the end. We are very fortunate. Good afternoon, everyone. We are very fortunate <laughs> to have all of you among our midst because. Uh, uh, personally, I have gained a lot of experiences from uh, your character, the way that you attend your classes. I have like uh, noticed how you behave inside the classroom too and I'm really inspired by that. Okay, so I'll give a uh, short report on uh, the program that we have taken up. Okay, so um, the pedagogy classes started from 18th of this month, no, November. And uh, we have the practical session as well as the theoretical session. So the theoretical session uh, we have attended and we have four, uh, three practical classes too. And uh, today we have a very uh, light and um, joyous program, CCM, where for the first time I kick a football. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that is all that has been uh, carried out during the pedagogy classes. So I think we will go uh, and now I will ask uh, Professor Lentigirante, <coughs> Dean of the Postgraduate Studies, before then I just want to introduce her, though many of us may know already knew about her. Uh, I think uh, she is uh, her, her grandfather is <coughs> He is uh, the backbone of this Presbyterian Church. We call him Dirgo Muka. Even in the Kovel Sunday School, at that time also we have studied about him. He is uh, a very, very <coughs> devoted Christian. And then he is the one who has. Uh, he, is the, he, he is one of the strong pillars of this Presbyterian Church. So she, she brought from her. She was brought up from her. And moreover, the first time her, when I knew her, I know her mother and all that, but when the first time she came to our church, at that time she was very young, okay? No, I did the same thing, she was very young, at that time. Uh, okay, there was, uh, we had one guest, then she translated uh, his uh, sermon. I think you still remember that. She translated so well, and at the end also, I don't know how talented she is. Because before I work in the this in higher education, I also work in assembly, legislative assembly as a translator. I know how difficult it is translating, <coughs> translating translations, particularly the sermon. At the spur of the moment, she has to give the same type of uh, sermon uh, message to the audience. So at that time, I think that also needs spiritual unity. Yes, well, unless the spirit guide them, it, it will be very difficult to translate uh, to translate the right message. And at the time, she translated so well. I'm very happy for that. I thank you for that for a wonderful <laughs> translation of the sermon. Okay, thank you. But after so many years, <laughs> still it it comes vividly into my mind. So we we were wondered who is coming, who will be translating the sermon. Then we came, so we are very happy, and you are so young, so young at the time. Anyway, but like uh, like the King David, no? King David also is very young, but uh, uh, but uh, Samuel he anointed him like that. It came to my mind that okay. Anyway, so this uh, the, uh, Professor Rindiki. Ralph Desi had his BA honors, BD, M MTH, DTH. She has completed her BD from uh, Bishop College, Kolkata, Master of Theology, and MTH from uh, from the uh, what Tamil Nadu Theological Seminary, Madurai. And she has been working working at ATC for the last twenty years. She has joined ATC back in 1999 when. She was very, very uh, at that young at that time, and she become a pro she was promoted to a professor in 2019, uh, 2019, and from there she go to she went to Serampur as a dean, 
of set three, I don't know this one, Sydney Center for Extension and Pastoral Theology Theological Research of Serampur. So we are very proud that we have such a wonderful <coughs> lady uh, that Ada has also, uh, Ada College, Serampur College asked her to work there. So we are very proud of you. <laughs> Okay, now she's, uh, she's, uh, now she's uh, Dean of Postgraduate St uh, Studies and Head of Department Theology and Ethics uh, Department at IATC. Uh, so now may I ask her to give <coughs> his address to address the, the gathering. It's up to you. Okay. 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 Thank you so much for the warm welcome and it's so good to see all of you here. Um, so I will just say a few words that I want to say. First of all, I want to uh, give my greetings to the Joint Director of Dr. Lal Khansani Fan I, to the principal, faculty members and staff of the IASE, Aizol Mizoram, and also to Dr. Casey, Academic Dean of AICS, and dear students. I feel honored and privileged to stand before you today to deliver my address on this auspicious occasion. Uh, it is indeed a great achievement that the pedagogy course for MTH final year students of ATC and AICS for the academic year 2022 to 2022. 23 could be concluded successfully. One of the objectives of the Master of Theology MTH course under the Senate of Sarampur College is to train candidates for teaching in theological colleges and seminaries. Due to the rapid changes in all walks of life that our society is experiencing, it is obvious that those who are engaged in the teaching ministry in theological colleges need to equip themselves in a much more fundamental ways than ever before. At the same time, if we look at the diversified ministries of the church today, we can also find that teaching is very much the foundation of the different ministries that the church is engaging within the community and in the wider society, either through formal or informal ways. Therefore, for those of us who have dedicated our lives to serve in the ministries of the church, to acquire deeper and better understanding of teaching is a must for fulfilling our ministries. Unfortunately, many theological colleges like ours, we do not have the expertise or the experiences in providing such kind of quality pedagogy course. Fortunately, in Mizoram, we have institutions like IASE who are equipped with professionals in the field of teaching to help us in filling this important gap. When I look at the theoretical and practical inputs that our students have been subjected to during the last 10 days, I am sure that the pedagogy course under IASE will be great blessings for them in their future ministries. In a community like ours, uh, like a tribal community like ours, what is beneficial for individual pastor or theologically trained person ultimately benefits the whole church and the wider community. I already got feedback from some of our students who feel really enriched and empowered by this course. Thus, with a deep sense of gratitude, I want to express our heartfelt thanks to the principal of IASE, Professor Lelian Zwalifan Ai, and her colleagues for their commitment and sincerity in helping our students to engage in a meaningful and rewarding program. I also hope that our partnership will be mutually beneficial for both sides. The cooperation and solidarity between theological communities and secular institutions is one of the most important ways of extending and promoting the reign of God in our midst. We are looking forward to our future partnership as well. Thank you all so very much and may God bless you all. Thank you. Uh -huh. As well, it's very challenging for us. Thank you for that. <coughs>
We are not ex that expert. <laughs> anyway, thank you for that compliment. All the compliment. Uh, like uh, like the Bible it always come true in every aspect. As uh, I have already uh, announced that our uh, jet director, uh, she has a very urgent work, and because of this, he won't be able to reach on time. But anyway, she is not that late. Because in other time when she come to our institution, she came uh, around nearly one more than one, nearly one hour in advance. Because she has to think about all this traffic jam and all. I think I think that today, due to unavoidable circumstances, she could not reach on time. That I think we all understand. And as the Bible says, the first can be the last. That uh, so I think now I will go as our program. <laughs> Now, uh, may I, uh, bef uh, before inviting a professor, guessing uh, academic dean AICS, let me introduce. Brief, let me have a brief introduce about him. I think uh, he presently he is associate professor of New Testament and academic dean of the academic of AICS, and his wife is also working there, assistant professor. They have two daughter, two two children. One is 12 years and other is 10 years, right? Yes. Okay. Before he has, he had had completed his bachelor degree, bachelor PD from Johar Theological College, college, and worked as a youth pastor from 2000 to 2004 at Peren Peren Town Baptist Church, Nagaland, and did his master of theology. In New Testament in 2004 uh, to 6 from MDC Bangalore, and joined Academy of Integrated Studies in June 2006 as a lecturer. And then he did his uh, his MD, uh, MD, uh, DTH from uh, ATC. So he is very much a part of that. I think we are also very fortunate that both of both the deans uh, are with us. And they are responsible for the student welfare also. That is, I think, a re really blessing for us also. And he had, he authored two books. And apart from that, he has written many uh, articles and chapters on books also. So we are very fortunate to have him here. Now may I invite uh, Professor Gessing. Principal of this esteemed institution, Professor Lalian Zwali Panay. I'm not good in pronouncing uh, Mizo names, please excuse me. Dedicated uh, professors and uh, invitees, especially Professor Lauren Diki Raute, uh, Dean of Postgraduate Studies, ATC, MTH students of both AICS and ATC, members present here. I stand to say thanks especially to IASE. I sincerely thank especially the principal for organizing and conducting pedagogy course. Last year MTH, she did here pedagogy course. And the authority of the college told me that she is very smart beautiful, intelligent, maintaining personal discipline, and above all, she is a good teacher. I think uh, this is partly because of IASE. So I give credit to the principal and all the professors sitting here. I would like to thank the authority and the staff of IESC for your continual support in training our students. I congratulate the college, the institution, for conducting and finishing pedagogy course even this year. I would like to congratulate even the MTH students, both from ATC and AICS, for successfully completing the course. I'm sure you have learned a lot and it will be resourceful in your future ministry. May God bless us all.
Thank you. The principal also, the principal said he's a very good orator. I think he can speak so well. And then with the mot your motivating speech and all that, thank you so much. I think we keep all those in mind. Since uh, uh, we are following the footsteps of Jesus, Jesus is also a teacher. So but in one way or another, we all are teachers. That is, uh, teacher, teacher, be a teacher. It's a wonderful uh, blessing, a gift from God. Jesus also commanded us to preach the gospel to the entire world. Who can preach? A teacher can preach. Yes. As a pastor or a pastor to be, so the, your responsibility is preaching. Preaching, preaching. It's a duty of the teachers. Okay. Okay. Now we came to the next uh, program. Uh, the first, uh, the first to be. Uh, now may I uh, ask uh, our honourable judges, the Korean family, and our Peter John Director, H H uh, John Director at Administration, H and PE. Before that, I let me just introduce her while she's working there. Uh, uh, we call her Pisangli. She's also a teacher. She has been working in the teaching profession right from 1987 where some of you may not be born at that time. She's a teacher for that. And she's a very, very good teacher. And apart from that, uh, when uh, she's also, in, in her uh, family background, she's the daughter of a pastor, who is very, very healthy at Roma. See, see, he used to be our pastor. But yes, this okay. <laughs> okay. And then she has been her in school in Shillong. And I think the former, the, the former CS, Deep Secretary, they, uh, they are in the same class. And he and she, sometimes she becomes the first position holder, <laughs> and sometimes Pulan Moya, and so on. Uh, and then she did her BA in English honors, she's the from the English department, and in my English, and she has completed her PhD in English department, in English subject. And not only that, that is the other things, okay? That is her academic. Not only in other, in the religious organizations. She has been involved in many other religious activities in the youth, as well as in the youth at the women, women, Presbyterian women, and now for the second consecutive time, she is the assistant secretary at the central Asia conference. Yeah, she's right mm. now. Not only that, she is presently the member of uh, Presbyterian Human Fellowship of the Northeast Presbyterian Church, and from she is elected chairman of <laughs> WF from 2022-23-25. I think we have to pray for her for this great responsibility. We are very proud to have her, to have her in our midst. An expert. And now she's uh, from college, now she's our joint director, administration. All our problems, we approach her and with open mind, with open arm, she listens to us. And then when we are in her room, we feel so comfortable all the time. She does this young, but then we see she is a mother to us for our institutions. We have many problems. Whenever we went to her room, we went, we entered our room with problems, with problems. But then we go out with a happy mind. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now we are invited. Thank you so much. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I apologize today for being late, but we had to sit and think about the progression of the teachers in the colleges and in the institutions so that they can be, you know, career wise, be promoted from time to time. And it's been long awaited 
Let's hope some of our friends from this institution too will be making use of what we have been doing today. We will come out quite soon, let's hope. And I am very glad if I could make a personal note uh, to see Ms. Madhiki and uh, one of our pastors over here was yeah, I know your name, but then the thing is, I wouldn't call you one of the students. I should say he walked me home those evenings when the college was in the evening session. Now it's a day, uh, day college. Those times I would always say, look at to walk me home and it applied. I'm glad to meet you. And I'm very glad to see that uh, all these in front of me are willing to serve the Lord. And that you in your own way are preparing yourselves to become teachers. And teachers as has been